My initial plan for the day was to do a speech on giving balloon animals. Um, I found my own old kit and the pump it broke, so I borrowed one from my mom and I broke it as well. I went out to, um, to buy a new kit and I broke the pump. So um, this was obviously very upsetting to me. Um, but when I realized that crying over a broken pump is a pretty silly thing to do, I realized that what I'm truly good at and dedicated to giving you a speech on is suppressing your emotions. But you may ask, how would you suppress your emotions and why would anyone want to become an emotion suppressor? Let me first tell you that suppressing your emotions is an incredible tactic to get people to like you. Um, you want to be different, don't you? And the horrible truth is that our entire society is filled with god-awful Mozart, so please just don't be a conformist. Suppressing your emotions, not unlike a fake orgasm, allows you to guiltlessly turn your back on awkward or uncomfortable situations. My most admired technique is to act like you're joking. For example, George, I hate you. You're a stinker. But it sounds like I'm joking. I can laugh about it. It's... Um, what they don't pick up on is that I do hate George, and he is a stinker. He is such a stinker. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you never want to do, in any case, is to find acceptance through Facebook. And if your status at the moment is, I would rather be dead, you should probably believe um, people are the boss of you. <laughs> people are always going to be the boss of you, especially over the internet, and they're never going to bring you down, to not bring you down. Um, all you need to do, however, is understand their addiction to comfort. Um, have you ever broken up with someone over the internet? It's okay to do that. It's easy to do, and it's comfortable. So sure, the other person gets the short end of the stick, but if they've suppressed their emotions, just like I taught you to do in my speech, your problem will be solved. Thank you for listening.